Guys, after testing numerous rackets over the last 8 months, I've wanted to give you my 5 picks for control. Keep in mind that there are many more great options out there. Let me know in the comments which one you like. Maybe this list will change over time as I continue playtesting different rackets. What defines a control racket today is different than 20 years ago. In the days of Pete Sampras and Edward Agassi, a control racket was typically a head size between 90 and maybe 95 square inches and an extremely thin beam. Nowadays, even a 100 inch racket can be considered controlled if this racket meets the right specs. Let's start with the first racket. I guess we start with the most underrated racket for control, the Head Radical Pro. This racket is a visually appealing racket with a 98 inch head, a 16 by 90 string pattern and an extremely thin beam. All of these rackets share a common characteristic. They are low powered requiring players to generate racket head speed through their technique. The low swing weight of the Radical Pro assists in this regard. The racket provides incredible feedback and maintains a decent level of spin potential. In my review of the Radical Pro, I wondered how stable the racket is while defending and how good the control is when being offensive. There was nothing in particular that I disliked about this racket and I almost felt tempted to switch to it after the playtest. Perhaps I will make the switch after the summer season ends. Next up is the V-Core Pro 97, which plays remarkably similar to the Radical Pro, but with even lower power. It features a slightly smaller 97 inch head and a stiffness rating of 60. In my review, I was impressed by the shock absorption and the racket's ability to precisely communicate the ball's trajectory. Although the launch angle and spin potential didn't meet my expectations, the overall feel of the racket was exceptional. Despite its a uh, 97 inch head, it didn't feel like one. Because of its head shape, I was extremely surprised on how well I hit the sweet spot of this racket. The only aspect I wasn't really thrilled about was serving flat with this racket as it performed poorly when compared to my beloved Gravity Pro. The, the extremely low swing weight of 316 posed challenges in that regard. Nevertheless, it was a pleasure to play with a Yonix racket for the first time. And I thoroughly enjoyed the experience. By the way guys, if you enjoy this type of content and find value in my videos, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone. Let's stick with Yonix for one more racket, the Vcore 95. This racket is one of the greatest surprises I had in the last couple of weeks. Despite my initial concerns of frequently mishitting balls with a 95 inch racket, I was proven delightfully wrong. The Vcore 95 felt more like a 97 or even 98 to me, considering its sweet spot. I didn't encounter many mishits and the spin potential was surprisingly higher compared to the previous two rackets. The feedback was impressive, thanks to its low stiffness rating of 61 and the thin beam. The Vcore 95 provides exceptional feedback and excellent control. It was a joy to redirect balls and change directions with ease. Touch shots and volleys are particularly enjoyable and I found myself hitting more short cross court passing shots than ever before. Additionally, surfing with this racket felt great and was perhaps the most enjoyable aspect. Whether it was a flat surf or a kick surf, the slightly higher swing weight in comparison to the Vcore Pro certainly helped. Overall, it provided a fantastic playing experience and is a remarkable choice for advanced players. When discussing controlled rackets, one cannot overlook the legendary Wilson Pro stuff, an icon in the tennis game. It is arguably the most renowned control racket on the market. Endorsed by the likes of Roger Federer and Pete Sampras, the Pro Stuff V14 is an outstanding racket to play with. The feel it offers is simply exceptional. I have never experienced better touch than with this racket. Its 97 inch head and the wonderful theme beam allowed me to execute drop shots and drop volleys effortlessly. The surf was absolutely phenomenal with outstanding feedback. I could hardly miss a first surf and I almost fell in love with the racket when playing flat shots. However, I do have two concerns regarding the Pro Stuff V14. Firstly, it is an extremely demanding racket. 
its high swing weight of over 330 makes it more challenging to swing and it requires substantial form strength to guide the racket throughout the entire motion. I felt soreness in my entire arm the next day and this wasn't an isolated incident as many of you have also mentioned that in the comments. The V40 model was not as demanding in that regard. The second issue is the sweet spot, which is not only small, but the smallest I have ever encountered. If I didn't hit the center, it felt like hitting a wooden board. Also increasing the arm problems I have experienced. Finally, of course, we come to the Head Gravity Pro, which has been my go-to racket since last year. Unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to play with the newest version yet, as it's not as readily available in local stores. The Gravity Pro comes in at a 100 inch head, a low stiffness rating of 60 and a substantial mid 330 swing weight. If you can handle the Gravity Pro properly, this racket has it all. It offers incredible control and feel, making hitting drop shots incredibly enjoyable. This season I've hit more drop shots than ever before and have won points with them as well. The control is exceptional without compromising on spin and playability. What do I mean by that? The combination of the mentioned specs and the 18 by 20 string pattern allows you to consistently hit the sweet spot. Additionally, the string spacing is more open compared to most 18 20 rackets, facilitating topspin. However, it must be noted that this racket is not as easy to play with. It requires time to get accustomed to maneuvering it for 2 plus hours. I often found myself hitting late on my forehands in the beginning resulting in missed shots. But once I mastered the timing, I fell in love with this racket completely. If you are interested in a more detailed review of my racket of choice, check out the video. See you soon.